Hello friends, let's take up the last part of this theme, Autonomous District Council in Northeastern States of India. In this talk, we will discuss about the role issues and challenges before the Autonomous District Councils or the Regional Councils. There exists a number of issues and challenges in relation to the working of the Autonomous District Councils operating in northeastern region of the country according to the provision of the sixth schedule of the constitution of India. And let's take up the first that is the conflict of interest. It is very often observed that there are frequent conflicts of interests between the autonomous district councils and the state government in general and the state legislature in particular. For instance, in the state of Meghalaya, in spite of the formation of the state out of Assam, the whole of the state continues to be under the autonomous district councils, functioning under the sixth schedule of the constitution, which causes conflict with the state government. In case of Mizoram, even though there are three autonomous district councils for the Chakma, the Lai and Mara. There is confusion regarding the rest parts of the state. New groups and areas demand for the establishment of autonomous district councils. In Manipur, there are six district councils that have been established by the state government which are not covered under the sixth schedule of the constitution. Para 12a of the sixth schedule states that whenever there is a conflict of interest between the autonomous district councils and the state legislature, the latter shall prevail. So the state law has the priority over the laws made by the autonomous district councils. It means there is a conflict between the autonomous district councils and the state administration or the state legislatures who are also the elected representatives in the state and those are also elected by the whole of the population instead of the, the tribal communities. And because of the para 12 of the sixth schedule of the constitution, the state legislature predominates the autonomous district councils. So that has been an area which is a challenge and how to resolve it and how to reduce the conflict between, between the state legislatures and autonomous district councils, it has become a challenge. Autonomous districts, councils and their financial positions. The local self-government institutions under the provision of the 73rd constitutional amendment, that is the Panchati Raj institutions operating in rural areas of the country are normally funded through the respective state finance commissions. But the issue of funding the autonomous district councils is still not settled. These councils receive grants from the state governments, central governments and sometimes from donor agencies. However, as a matter of rule, all types of funding are routed through the state administration. Most of these councils often claim that the state government is partial and politically motivated so, they demand that the grants and other resources may be given to them directly by the central government, an idea registered by the state governments who are in favor of checks and balances. In other words, we can say where in case of the Panchayat Raj institutions established under the 73rd constitutional amendment, there is a central grant to these bodies and that is directly given to these institutions. 
Similarly, there is a provision of the State Finance Commission which make recommendations at the state government release grants to these institutions as per the recommendation of the State Finance Commission. This has not been there. In case of those areas where autonomous district councils have been established. As a result of that, the state governments are reluctant, rather those are funding those areas or those councils which are closer to the ruling party or the dominant political leadership, who are not supporting the ruling leadership they may not be able to get that much funds as required by them or uh, we say they need it. That has been creating a sort of conflict or dissatisfactions among the autonomous district councils and that's why they have been demanding that such arrangement as it is there with the Panchayat Raj institution that has to be made for them also. Number three that is autonomous district councils and the governors of the states, their relationships. The governor of the states concerned in which the autonomous district councils operate have special powers to look into the affairs of the councils. The law passed by the autonomous district councils can become effective after these are assigned to by the governors of the respective states. Again, the governor of the state has the power to supervise the overall functioning of the autonomous district council as per the provisions of the sixth schedule of the constitution of India. As the governor is guided by the aid and advice of the state council of ministers, sometimes the intention of the state government indirectly influences the decision of the governor in relation to the working and supervision of the autonomous district councils. Number four, representation and autonomous district council is also one of the important issue. The Bodoland Territorial Council has maximum members, that is 46, and also have representation of non-tribal communities. However, in case of other councils, there is no such representations or we can say a wider representation has not been there. The different small tribal groups have been demanding that their representation must be there in these councils as they have been, they are unable to get themselves representative on their own because of numerical strength of their population in that autonomous district. Moreover, one third representation to women like the 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act is also missing in these autonomous district councils. Besides these four issues, there are certain other major issues also or other major issues and challenges also. Those are number one. There is late release of funds by the state governments at times that has been creating many kinds of problems and the financial difficulties for the autonomous district councils. Number two, in Tripura, the Tripura tribal areas autonomous district council has not set up any village courts which creates problems for the tribal people to get justice in cases involving customary laws. Even though these village courts elsewhere have limited powers for minor cases, these are very helpful one. Number three, due to the lack of coordination among the autonomous district councils, the state administration and the central agencies 
many of the development projects are delayed in the autonomous district councils areas. Allegation of corruptions, misuse of funds and financial irregularities have surfaced on many occasions during the meeting of the autonomous district councils. In actual, there is an urgent need for transparency and effective monitoring mechanism in the working of the autonomous district councils including their project implementation. Number four, experts are of the views that decentralization does not necessarily result in democratic process which is the outcome of a number of factors including committed leaders, alert people, civil society and mass media etc. That has to be developed in autonomous district councils and there is an urgent need for that one. So these are the important issues and challenges for in-depth understanding of these issues. Please go for additional readings and search the reading material on the websites provided to you in the form of e-resources. Hope by these four small talks you have been able to understand about the autonomous district councils or the regional councils which have been established and functioning since we adopted our constitution that has been able to respect the culture, traditions and customs of the tribal people living in that particular area where the sixth schedule of the constitution is applicable. That kind of the modernity which is there in, in and around the national capital that's missing there. But it has been involving the people even after so many conflicts. And trying to bring them in the mainstream of the society. Normally we understand after the state administration level there is a district administration but there is a special kind of arrangement under the sixth schedule of constitution and that is known as the autonomous district councils that is not a part of regular text on Indian administration or the state administration that has been provided here deliberated with you and that has made you to aware about the district level or council kind of administrative system or administrative mechanisms which is a little bit different from the normal district administration of you have been able to understand it thank you very much for being the part of these deliberations if you have any kind of the questions or you need any clarification please don't hesitate to write to me and participate on the discussion form provided to you for that purpose thank you very much thanks again mm -hmm.